Okay, today's request is from Gretchen on wanting to know how to create a sign up here for this freebie button in Mailer Lite, um, and then have it take it take them to uh, the actual freebie PDF. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start within Mailer Lite. What you want to do is go ahead and create your form or get a new form start. So when you click on the forms tab over here, you have create embedded form, pop-up or landing page. Today we're gonna to do embedded form. We're just gonna call this test. And then here you got two choices. You have either the embedded form or the subscribe button. Uh, today we're going to do the subscribe button because what this is going to do is this is going to have the pop-up come up after they click on the button. This, the embedded form is where the uh, fields that they need to enter are automatically right there on the actual web page. So we're going to create the subscribe button. Just pick whichever list you want to put it into. And then here we go. We got the subscribe button. Um, you're wanting to create a freebies download. So we'll just call the button download. And as you can see here, this is um, what it looks, what it will look like on your page. So you can create the background, adjust the colors, um, the border radius, which will be the uh, corners rounding them a little bit. And then the gradient will have it a dark to light gradient. So you can change the font, the width. Um, it's, it's really all up to you. So uh, once you have what you want on the button, you can either save and get the HTML code and just download it right there but I wouldn't advise that. So what you want to do is create the pop-up form. And this is what's going to pop up. Um, after they click that button, this form pops up. So we can just say, want your freebie. Enter your details below. Um, and then again, you got the button title, which is download now. And again, you can completely design the look and feel of this. Um, you can put the download button horizontal with the fields or vertical. Uh, you can create how big it is. So let's say we want it 700 pixels. You adjust the background. Say we want perfect white. Um, no border. The button color. Let's keep it consistent with what we got. Gradients. Okay. And then you have the fields. I always do the name and email field, um, but I never require the name. Uh, it just helps you down the road if you want to um, be more personal in your emails. So let's go ahead and save. And this is what will pop up. Um, if you really want, you can actually enter code right here to make it look a little bit fancier. Um, but that's another video right there. So, so the next thing is your confirmation email and the confirmation thank you page. If you want to have a double opt-in, these two will be popped up. But if you don't do a double opt-in, uh, they naturally disappear with you. What we do is the confirmation email is we have it, it'll just say, 
Um, this is just a generic one that autofills, but normally we say just please confirm you're a human. And once they click this link, it'll send them the confirmation thank you page uh, email, which will say, hey, thanks for confirming. Here's your, your freebie. And then you can send them to a page that has the freebie or uh, whatever URL you want. But um, what we're going to do today is we're going to turn off the double opt-in and you're going to want to um, get them their PDF. So let's go into edit. So down here at the bottom, you have the thank you message or the redirect URL. You can just keep it at the thank you message and then you can send them um, an email yourself later on but that's not very functional. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put in a redirect URL. So what we can do is you just create your PDF, which you can download that wherever and get the URL to it. And then you enter that PDF in there. So now after they fill out the form, they will be redirected to the PDF, then they can download it there. So let's go ahead and save that. And once you see everything and it looks good, go back to the button. And at the bottom here, you have save and get your HTML code. Once you save it, I just grab the JavaScript code right here, and you can put that in your WordPress site. So what we did is I created a test page. So right here on the visual, you can say, uh, thanks. Thank you for being a part of the family. Um, and then below it, it could just be like, Click the button for your freebie download. So if you want to copy and paste right here, that will not do anything. That'll just show the text because we're in the visual. So what you want to do is you want to delete that and you go into the actual text box and then you can enter that JavaScript here. Once you do that, if you go back to visual, you'll see this little box button that says there's script there. It won't show you what the actual script is, but you can always go to the text uh, variation. So all we do is we update that page. And once that page has been updated, you go to the actual website and if we refresh, we'll probably have that information. And then when you click on the download button, boom, here's your pop-up box. So let's say you just want to enter your name and info at Angie Gensler. And then once you click download, Bam, it takes you to that PDF that you specified in the redirect URL. Um, and that's pretty, pretty much it. So uh, hopefully this helped you out. And if you have any other questions, feel free to, uh, to hit me up. All right, have a great day.